Good morning, happy Friday. Already something probably easy to wrap your mind around is happy Friday, because Fridays are happy. But in a twist of events, I am going to the DMV this morning, which you may have preconceptions about. Like every other person that walked through the door when I was there recently, there was a program running already disgruntled already this is a waste of my time already all of those emotions and so what if you walked in and knew that it was going to be the perfect short appointment you're gonna get right in and right out and if you got sat next to someone it was either for a reflection or for like a divine meeting of somebody the perfect person you're gonna sit next to or in my case it was the most blissful meditation you've ever done in your life, just eyes closed, smiling, relaxing. And the funniest thing happened, which actually doesn't surprise me when I think about it, is when I sat down, I sat down in the middle of like a sea of like complaining grumps because that's just the seat that was open and that's just the conversation that I heard as I sat down and I smiled. And I sat there in my like happy meditation and when I opened my eyes, the grumps were gone and there were actually one, two, three, four new people around me and they were all excited and happy and talking about their life and two of them just happened to both have the same French accent talking all about what they wanted to do while they were here and things that they were learning and then the other was a mother and daughter and they were like so excited and so fun and she was getting her license and I joined in on all of these like fun conversations around me and then they called my number and I was like what? and they were all excited and it was just a fun exciting we met back up in the parking lot just happenstance you choose you choose what energy you're gonna bring and sometimes the energy around you can be so overwhelming that you just got to close your eyes to the reality and just vibe with it and then when you open it it's different so that is my little I'm actually excited for the DMV um, spiel for this morning because yes that is proof that you can change your perspective on anything on this beautiful friday and live an amazing life so friday is the perfect day to talk about love <gasps> love love has got to be one of these days we started with the weekend we started with the incredible weekend vibes we went monday tuesday wednesday thursday and here is friday and we are booking it in with love and i think it's interesting that in i think it's like in a psychology paper that i read that i'm not even sure could have just been like a news article but it talked about how every different person the word love means something different and it's from your own perspective and that's why couples can sometimes like not be eye to eye because you don't even for one love is creating something and the other one love is time and you know that kind of ties into love languages a little bit but it's interesting but the love i am talking about here is agape love it is source god connected flowing through you it is your heart open it is you leaning into all the potential emotional blockages that you have, closing it, all of the heart walls you have separating you from connecting to other people, keeping you safe. All of these are there for a good reason. They're all part of your game. If you get your bag of tricks and you dump it out, every all the pieces you get, some of these big pieces in here are gonna be heart wall pieces. And then removing them and looking at them and letting them go, and feeling into them and everything along that journey is gonna help your heart open and open and open. And we have energy from our heart opening out of the front towards other people and we have energy in the back. We have our energy centers come through the back and energy in the back, you can be completely open to giving and you could be out of balance because the back is closed and you are closed to receiving love. So perfect flow perfect 12 o'clock is you have love coming in and love coming out and there is just this circular pattern of abundance of love in your life and so a really easy way to sit into it and enjoy it 
is you can do um, like a meditation on love, a guided meditation, like all of those pair well with this. And then once you're, um, if you're counting down into like a deeper state of mind, if you do that, or if you do that through meditation, however you do that, um, obviously not if you're driving, but you can see and visualize, that's the same thing, visualize and hear the number three, three times, each time getting quieter, so three, three, Big deep breath. Every time you take a deep breath, you go to a deeper state of mind. The same thing with two, two, two. Big deep breath, deeper state of mind. One, one, one. Every day and every way, I'm getting better and better and better. Big deep breath and lean into it that way. And you can repeat that sequence as many times as needed until you reach the calm, peaceful state of mind. It depends. I mean, if you just had like a adrenaline rushing experience, it's gonna take you a bit longer. If you've already been pretty relaxed and you just woke up, you're gonna get there faster. So you decide what you need and you count down and you get in there and you get in there in meditation. And then you can focus on your heart. This is the main event. A lot of times you can move energy up to your brain and you can work on that pineal gland and you can get the energy there and you can focus your attention and all of that is powerful and other times we open our heart field if you do any kind of energy work um, in the heart brain coherence and you open your heart and you get your hands buzzing and you're feeling that energy you know what i mean about your heart field and putting the energy there placing your attention there where your focus goes your energy flows so you put your attention right here on your heart my focus is in my heart and you can take some deep breaths into it. I don't know, whatever you feel like, five, 10. And just let that breathe through your heart and feel that just relaxation course through your body, head to toe, into a deeper state from there. And if you're driving, you can still just breathe into your heart. You don't need to be in a deeper state of mind, relaxed. You focus on what you're doing and you can just breathe into your heart at any time. You can do it in meetings, you can do it in difficult conversations, you can do it in the shower. You can relax into your heart anywhere and practice it opening. And it pairs very well with gratitude for imagining those things you love. For a lot of people, it's pets. It's easy to accept love from pets. It's easy. They can do it from nature, from beautiful views, from experiences from their kids, from their friends. And I would say that expert level, which once you hit this level, it unlocks a deepening of a love for receiving and for every other level that you could possibly imagine loving into and treating well is with that agape love, self-love. Falling in love with yourself on this Friday this body that you have, this experience that you have, this unique one-of-a-kind perspective that you have, falling in love with your life. There's so much good to fall in love with in your life. You're incredible. One billion people, and there's only one just like you. There's a lot of uniqueness. There's a lot of overlap with other people. There's a lot of interesting things going on, and there is a lot to fall in love with every single day. So that's why Friday is love. You gotta feel into that love. And when you feel into it, you can feel your heart open. If you have energetic blockages or things like that or resistance, you may feel it. You may not feel the fluttering and energy and the coursing and the, the fact that your heart field gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it's city, walk, city blocks wide. You can feel that when you remove the blocks and it is the most divine feeling ever just sitting there with that open heart and not needing to close it sometimes when you first open your heart when you first remove the blocks you'll feel something happens and you'll feel your heart close like you'll literally feel it because you have opened it and that is something to look at for life to never have your heart closed is the name of michael singer's books i would argue that's like if you had to take one thing away from it that's it the untethered soul the surrender experiment Read them if you feel inspired or any Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth, or what's the other one? You'll find it. If it's meant to be, you'll find it. They're, 
both of their books are brilliant at opening the heart and surrendering into it and feeling the triggers and feeling it close and keeping it open. And that is arguably the point of life, I would say, is love. It's experiencing love. Agape love, love for yourself, love for others, because when you love yourself, you love your neighbor. It, it radiates just out of you. And what radiates out of you is what the world reflects back to you. And it is just, there's always room for more love. Just when you think that you have experienced the most love you could ever experience in your life. And you have, if you're a girl, if you're a girl wearing mascara, mascara just pouring down your face. I've gotten out of meditations and I look in the mirror and I'm like, Whoa, because it's just pouring, pouring, pouring endless heart opening love. And just when you think that's my heart feels like it's going to explode with energy. It is huge. My aura is huge. My field is huge. There's always more. There's always room for more. We're never going to reach the end of that because we can never in this body course the energy fully that's in the unified field. We can run a lot of it through it and it's amazing. But the love, there's always room for more. And the more you stretch your field, the more you raise your vibration, the more your allowance allows, you're gonna be rewarded. You're gonna get more and more and more and more and more and it gets so good. And you can be sitting on a subway and activate your heart field. You wanna keep your heart open at all times, ideally. And leaning into it, it's what makes you that magnet for that life you imagine. This is what's calling it in. This is the frequency. So this is the most important part of, it's like you're an old PC. You get in, you plug in your power cord to source. You feel the information flowing. You jump on the internet, the universal consciousness. You start receiving. You upgrade your software programs running the subconscious mind. You upgrade your hardware and you get flowing in life. And once you're thinking and feeling and receiving and opening your eyes and seeing you just have a top of the line quantum computer where you once first dusted off this old PC and plugged it in and you see that life gets to be so good and you get to see the limitations you were playing with before and how you become more and more and more and more unlimited the more you play the game and the more you lean into it. And at one point of your life, maybe it's now, maybe it's not, I certainly had an entire huge chunk of my life where I saw my limitations and I saw victim everywhere and oh, I feel so sad for myself for all of these things and there was so much sadness. And then there's that veil and you cross through it to the other side and you feel your unlimited, your power, your potential, how good life gets to get and you could never see yourself as that victim because you see those were just programs running and you're innocent and you love yourself and you love yourself for going through this to get to here and you love here. It is so good and you would never take the time to commiserate with another in their victim state, in their complaining state, no matter how socially acceptable it is. <laughs> Because you see how unlimited they are. You see the God in them. You see the source, the divine. You see the universe creating through them. You know their power. You're not gonna for a second leave the solution frequency to go back down to the problem frequency to commiserate because you see that would be no do that would be doing no good for them. You putting your focus on what they do not want, what they're complaining about. You're gonna stay up here and you're gonna see how good it can get and you're gonna hold that vision for them and with them and you're gonna love your life and you're gonna see them love in their life. And you're gonna allow them the space to work through their journey, to finish their painting no matter where it is, and cheer them on. And that is love, that is deep love. So you go enjoy your Friday, you find your love, you sit into it, you count in and you feel that heart open. You work on receiving, you work on giving all the same, you find the balances and you find nature because nature pairs so beautifully with this. There is so much love in nature. 
So should you be going to the DMV as well sometime soon? You live it up. That is a chance for you to change another paradigm shift. And once you start looking, it's not just weekdays and it's not just the DMVs, but what things do you have autopilot, automatic habits of what it's gonna be like? Why does it have to be that way? You get into that meditation, you create the experience you want, and then you open your eyes and you live it and you be that vibration. And you have that amazing experience because we are not limited. We are unlimited creators of our reality. And go out and get your beautiful day. You deserve it. And enjoy your weekend. Circle back to that weekend vibes video if you need a vibe. But after this week, if you've been doing all of this, I bet you don't. I bet you're ready to go and soar and live that unlimited life. Find your creativity. Find your joy. Find that hell yes. I'm going to go find my hell yes today. After the DMV, we are going to go up to one of my favorite restaurants all the way up in Nashville. It is delicious. It's called Graze with a Z and it is plant-based food and they just have some incredible meals. So we're going to go out there. We're going to treat ourselves and we are going to bring it down and keep enjoying our Friday. We're going to look for flow. We're going to look through think for synchronicities. Every time I get in the car, every time my life is changing into a new place, I take a time and I center and I tell my guardian angel, all right, let's go create. Surprise me. Show me something amazing keep me safe and centered and balanced and help me see those things which I am meant to see and help me bring that joy I meant to bring. Put people in my path I can easily help. Do it. You best believe I'm going to be there for them. And it's going to feel amazing for both of us because giving feels amazing and receiving feels amazing. So go get that beautiful day. You deserve it. Thank you for being here. Remember to follow that intuition, follow that guidance wherever it leads. Leave a comment if you feel so inspired and had any thoughts to share your beautiful genius with other people. Because when you create and put things into the world through comments or love or thinking to call somebody, whatever you do, it gets where it needs to go and it creates that ripple effect. So go and do it and be your beautiful, unique, only one of you that there exists in the world out of billions of people. Have an amazing day.